train. Hello, welcome to the channel. Hello, we've just been following a cat. This is a problem. It's a bit of a problem. We're on this, this road here. It's not a 20. So people are driving at 20 on this road. Or 22 or something. You know, it's just inappropriate. This is a... There's no houses on the left. It's a little... It should... It is a 30. This, I don't know where the signs are. Um, that thing just told me to slow down. I was doing 35. It should be a 40. You know. And they're doing 20. It's like they're in numpties. It says 20 there, right? So that's when you go in... That, you know, I can kind of accept that, really. You know, when you turn into there, into these housing schemes. You don't really need to be doing 40 or 30 in there. 20 is fine. You're, you know, you're, there's people, kids and everything playing around. But this is a, this is a, a sort of main thorough, a through road. It, you know, that's how the planning would have worked. You know, the planning regulations. I'm doing 30. You know, it, it would have when they did this whole place and they've went and undermined all that the Scottish government and you've got idiots that are agreeing with it so stupid the main thing is that human beings use cars right and they use cars to build wealth and you know to have a better life that's why they use cars so this kind of strange thing that that they have that people in places like so people, they, in their minds, people don't use cars. So there's this kind of like, cars and trucks, and everybody uses cars, trucks and vans. Because everything's, everything comes via the road. Yeah, it's just so fucking unbelievably stupid. Yeah, it really is, but you just have to cope with the numpties. You know, cope with the numpties. Um, they're all around. You can imagine being like a delivery driver on a truck and you're delivering at domestic addresses. And you've got like, see, this is a problem with NIMBYs. Imagine you've got 20 deliveries to do. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon, right? And you've got 20 deliveries to do. And you've got some numpty doing 17 miles per hour. And you're in a truck, a delivery truck. You know, get the fuck out of the way. You know, let them get on with their jobs. But no, no, I sit there at 17 mile an hour. All fucking high and mighty, all self-righteous. Or maybe they're just dim. They're just dim as anything, they just don't know anything. About anything. I think that's, there's a lot like that. But there was, you know, there's, there's driving without due care and attention. Well, oh, that's quite a cool truck, we missed that. Shit, that looks really good. Um, so unfortunately, I haven't had a chance. I'm, we're on our way to Cumbernauld. I haven't had a chance to um, wash the car, clean it out, you know, anything uh, like that. Uh, clean the house. So I'm busy this week. So this is Tuesday. I've got Wednesday's the only day that I don't have anything. You know, that technically on Wednesday I could probably not start the car. Um, probably. Yeah. I think this accident up here was caused by that place, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Or, but, well, it was caused by the planning. Lack of planning. There's flowers there and there's flowers on the left. I have a feeling that the traffic was built up, but that's just a feeling. Feelings are no good, are they? Um, you know, I don't, you can't really go by feelings, but it's just my hunch that, you know, that they were built up and that's why the truck gun in the back of the car um, was because of, I think in this round of it, you're better just to do whatever suits you best at the time, you know? Um, The car did that little splutter thing that it does occasionally. Um, yeah, it's, it's so, that roundabout, you just got on with it, I think. It's 
best option. So we can get up to 90 before we got onto the carriageway. So I've got to predict where this crane's going to be. Yeah. So if I drop off the... Let's see if we can get in. Yes! That was a bit rough, the gear changes. Wasn't it? If you give it the beans, it works perfectly well, but sometimes when you're sort of like... Um, put on the cruise control because it's working at the moment. The BMW is a lady um, playing with her hair. I mean, she's probably going to get pumped later on. And if it was a mini metro, the guy would have no chance of getting a shag. So that's just how life works. Women are avaricious beasties, you know? This feminism thing is such a weird thing. Yeah. It's just, it, it's blatant lies is what it is. Um, because really they're just after, out for what they can get, the vast majority of them. Uh, they don't want to do anything if they don't have to. Um, that's how, how, how it works. And they've been given so much uh, privileges and options and so much that they can't handle it all. Well, there's a quite cool quarry over there. A lot of yellow diggers and cranes and quite bright. I suppose that's a safety thing, isn't it? Why well, they're all so bright. Um, would it be a great place to go up and do a video? So I wasted quite a lot of diesel there doing that manoeuvre. Which is quite uncool. It's quite, it was very unsmooth. You know, now we're doing 70 and cruise control, but I'm not expecting that to last because this thing's got this fault. And when the fault kicks in, the uh, when the fault kicks in, the cruise control fails to work. So there's a hill assist. It'll probably happen. And so we're going to turn off at Cumbernauld. Um, Remember, it's me it's good to remember, not you. We'll be going past Denny in a minute, probably now. Past Danny. I'm a cloud. Don't take too long to get to Cumbernauld. Really? Look at that Volvo with the private number plate. That's an unusual one. Was it Sam or Saw? So? Sam. Is that a Maserati? Ah, it is. Oh, yes. That's a car I always promised myself. The Maserati. Turn the heating up a bit, it's not that uh, warm. What's that say up there? Can't see it. Got a sign up there, I can't see it. But I do it, the sun was in my eyes, so maybe, maybe it's something to do with it. So you just overtook me and now you're getting in my fucking way. Because <sighs> I was doing 70 and now you've slowed down because there's a corner and you're BMW. Now you're going to pull out in front of this car. Everybody's got BMWs. I think I'll just slow down a bit and stay in this lane. I'll be turning off soon anyway. 
There's a few trucks up the front. What's going on here? Well, maybe I won't. I think using the cruise control is not really good now that there's so much traffic around. So when I was coming off there, yeah, it was a bit of confusion with the gears. I ended up going out the third by mistake, should have been fifth. It's, the, the gears in Citroen are never really, they're not at all sporting. You know, it's not, they're not supposed to be sporting. They are um, unsporting. That's what they are. I've never seen that sign, I don't know what it said. Castle Carry. Here we are at Castle Carry. Cumbernauld, what's it called? Changing lanes. Now I need to turn right at the roundabout where McDonald's is. Try and find this closed place. Coming here Thursday, I'll be getting the bus into Glasgow. Uh, taking the car into Glasgow, it's like, I mean, well, the problem is this isn't, this is, doesn't fit their clean air zone bullshit, so neither does my blue car. My Granada does. <laughs> the Granada. <laughs> I mean, I could get the Granada out of the garage and take that into Glasgow. I have thought about it. I had. I'm not quite confident with the Granada yet, um, really, to, to be driving around Glasgow with it. And I don't actually have recovery for it, um, so it could be a bit of a problem. Um, and it, the mile, I, mean, I hardly do any miles with it at all, really. I've got to get it out of the garage uh, tomorrow. We'll get it out of the garage tomorrow, yeah. I don't know what the weather, weather forecast is tomorrow, but I've got I've got some work to do at the back, some scrap that I need to do. So maybe I should get the gun. <sighs> What's that got to do with it? I mean, fuck's sake, you want to get the Granada out? <sighs> Old Cumbernauld. I should go and have a look at Old Cumbernauld. See what it's actually like. That's where my uncle comes from. Old Cumbernauld. Uh, he, he emigrated to Perth, Western Australia, and then he came back to die. He came back and died in Scotland. So I thought it was quite interesting. Um, I mean, I'd, I've lived in Scotland all my life, so um, I, I don't understand why somebody would want to come back to die, you know. Um, but I do understand, I suppose I do. I think. Does it really mean that it didn't really quite totally believe in where they moved to? Does that does it mean that? I think it might, you know. I think it might. Um I've got somebody in a master coming right up my ass. I'm going to be turning right here. Uh, so it's a BMW, but you're a bit dim. Uh, so it's around here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, so 
it's round the back. Um, not sure exactly where. But let's just turn left here. Uh, oh shit. What the fuck's this? Oh, right, okay. Oh, ah, Jesus, potholes. Not potholes, it's. So what's in. What's that? And there's that shopping centre. Hmm. So there's. So I'm looking for TV at place. Um, I don't like all this type of thing because I'm thinking, oh, is this like some kind of traffic management? Um, well, it is, but it's like you think, oh, they could start charging. No, they wouldn't charge you to come into Cumbernauld. I mean, nobody really wants to go to Cumbernauld. So I can't see how that, that would be possible. Um, it's, I've never actually been around here before, so I'm not too... I should have keyed it into the sat-nav. Alright, so we're going under the... Under the... Um, I kind of assumed it was in a car park. Um, that's why. I kind of assumed that, right? I looked it up in Google Maps and I think it's this car park here. Um, I think it is. Um, rock and roller. I think I maybe went past it. Freedom City Church. Pretty sure we went past it. Uh, Alright. So we go right down to the end. Oh, so I've like cocked up here, haven't I? Um, I really have. Unless it's in that car park in there. No. Uh, what's down there? So that's uh, it's not in there. So I think it's a it's a port of cabin. That's what it is. How can you miss it? I don't even know where my sat nav is. Um, I phoned them up, they're definitely open. Um, I could have. Uh, this is not going well. Um, Not going well at all. Um, I don't know where it is. Right. I don't know where the fuck it is. Um, I looked it up and I thought it was the way back the way I just went. Um, it's not up here. Or maybe I looked up Google, maybe it, it wasn't a very accurate. Um, uh, what am I going to do? Well, that's not working out well, is it? Uh, hmm. Oh, nice jag. But he spoiled it by putting the, the Jaguar thing in the bonnet. The reason that, you, that these are not, if you run into somebody, that rips them apart, you know, if you run somebody over. So I'm not a NIMBY, but I wouldn't have that in my bonnet in my car. Plus it doesn't suit it anyway. Right, so what I'm going to do here, um, so, uh, right, okay, so I'm lost. I don't know where I am. Um,
totally fucking lost. Um, it's point like that. it's probably not a good idea asking somebody. Oh shit. Um, oh fucking where's where's the map? See, I'm I'm pretty I'm a useless bastard. Oh, that's the wrong one you're touching. Maps. Um, we pay. We pay cash for clothes. No, Cumbernauld. We pay. There it is. Right. Uh, directions. We're in a car. Um, uh, why the fuck's it? Car, three minutes. Um, start. Head southeast towards South Muirhead Road. I don't think this thing's orientated properly. Um, is another problem. Um, Head southeast. So I don't. Uh, it's, uh, it's three minutes. Muirhead Road. So where are we right now? Right. Um. Oh, shit. Um, it's going to fall off there. Uh, see if we can do the ancient art of driving calmly without this falling off the dashboard. Right, see what it says. Head southeast. Right, I'm doing that. In 100 yards, at the roundabout, take the first exit onto South Muirhead Road, St. Mungo's Road. The first exit? Really? To the first... The first exit? Google did not... In 50 yards, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto your way. Right, second. Oh. Right. Trist Road. That's not where Google Maps had had me going. So I think what happened is I'd put the postcode in. The, the, what happened is I'd put the postcode in and then sort of assumed that's what it was. That's why I went to the wrong car park. Turn left. And here. Uh, so we're in the car park. All right, we're going right around the car park. <laughs> uh, how's this? Are you like ed getting educated here? No, you're not, are you? Turn right around the car park. Any more instructions? Is it obvious? What's he looking at? It must be down here. I don't see it. Does anybody see it? I can't. Oh, there it is. There. Is it? Is that it there? We buy any car.
we buy any car. Oh shit. Uh, huh. Right, so what actually happened was This is where they were This is the old address This is the old address So across the other road, other side um, She was stinking of perfume She's on there, fell over Yeah Never mind, right, okay. Um, I never fucking seen it. That's, I thought it was really weird. So this is totally ruining my, this is what happens. That's why I hated doing delivery jobs and care, the, the care job was like this. And you know that you had so many to do and you end up driving around circles when something didn't work out right. Now the address I got for them was, or what I, I thought it was up here, right, round the back. I'm st so I'll look out for. Them. Is that out there? How do you get in there? It's Is that out there? Ah, there's it there. There's it. How do you get in there? How the fuck do you get in that car park? It's fucking Cumbernauld and Livingston. It's never been fucking built. It's like, ah, if you know what I mean. It's like the planners are tossers. How do you get into that car park? I'm starting to get stressed out. Do you have to go up that ramp to get into that car park? No. Oh, it's where the... I made the mistake. Is it... Oh, I made the mistake of thinking that that went into... No, it doesn't... How the hell do you get in there? Is it in here? How the fuck do you get in there? Who the f How the fuck do you get in that car park? How the That's fucking mad. How do you get in there? You try to tell me I've got. I'm, I'm, I'm either really fucking thick. I must be. This is not. Doesn't make any sense. I don't come from Cumber. You got to, oh, you've got to come from Cumbernauld. Is that what it is? How the fuck do you get in that car park? Do you go up that ramp to go in there? How do you get in there? This is fucking incredible. Absolutely fucking incredible. How do you get in that fucking car park? Is that a car going in it? 
If you can go up there and then go back down. I kind of fucking believe that. How the fuck does this work? How did... I'm going to have to get out of the car and have a look. Unbelievable. I've got to go up the ramp. Who the fuck designed Cumbernauld? Huh? Fucking bastards. So how do I get down now? How How the fuck do you get to that car park? Oh, is that? There's a car going that way. Now I don't know how to get out of this fucking shithole. Hiya. Do you know how I get down to that car park back there? I'm struggling to get to it with my car. To go No, I had to drive down to it. Ah, right. Here or there? Yeah. It's here, right? Right. You're down there. Yeah. You see the opening on the right, that takes you down. So, over there? Over there. See? See the cars are sitting side one? Yeah. Right. Down there, go over that. Yeah. And then you turn right. Right. You'll see the road face it, and that takes you down. Right, thanks. Okay? <laughs> I've never been here before. I've been to Cumbernauld, but I've never. We've stayed here for years, but still got one. <laughs> I'm not surprised. See ya. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's unbelievable. He's, he's stayed here for years, and he still gets lost. Um, but his cars are. So I mean, how would you know that? Uh, to go around here. <laughs> Is that, how would you know? Do you... <laughs> this is fucking mental. So I'm, I'm totally like now my, I'm way behind schedule now. Right? I still don't think this is the right way. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Cumbernauld was built for cars, was it? All right. This is me coming down to where I, I can't get into this car park. This is me back to where I was. I'm gonna drive. I, I just don't understand this. How how do you get over to that car park? That car park there. How do I get in there? This is fucking nuts. Absolutely, yes. I would drive over there, but it'll damage the car. We could reverse down there. Who the fuck wants to come and live in Cumbernauld? When you've got this fucking palaver. So now we're back to where we were. So what did I not... I must have not paid attention to that guy. Um. 
I'm going to reverse down there. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reverse down there. Number no. Fucking unbelievable. So at least I know how to get out. At least I know how to get out, eh? That was fucking unbelievable. So I've had to reverse in there. There's, there's clothes for cash there. <sighs> fucking unbelievable, this is... I can't believe this. I'll find out how to get out. Um, it's, it's like a car park you can't get in. Absolutely. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. Bang!